Good morning, everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of On Point in West Point. I'm Recky, and uh, this is my character, and I think her name is Emily. I'm still having some trouble remembering. Too bad I can't put her name over her head like you can for the multiplayer games. So we are at the beginning of day three, if you can believe that, and we have, we're pretty well set up. I think we just really need to figure out where the carpentry book went and do a bit of reading. And then once we uh, get that done, we can start breaking down the furniture that you see around us. And see what happens. Actually, I don't really want to do that. Let me unequip that. This is the one I want. This is the one on the floor. All right, uh, we have some boxes that were left behind by the owners, and I have been putting the various books and things in. Oh, that's why. When you're carrying two of the same thing, um, they'll stack them, whether there's stuff in them or not, and then it's almost impossible to figure out which one actually has stuff in it, which is why I always recommend that if you're going to use something as a container long term, you actually label it. So let's call this uh, Emily's school bag so we know which one she's actually carrying. And then let's go here and we're going to dump off these books that she's carrying at the moment. I think our carpentry book one is in here or maybe it's still downstairs. She was so tired last night that I didn't actually finish cleaning up down below. And as it turns out, I did get a fair bit amount done. Um, and I also managed to reorganize some of this area. And humorously, I discovered where the missing baseball bat that I was pretty sure we had picked up was located and along with it there was of course an axe and a wood axe and I could have sworn we had picked up axes and wood axes but you know sometimes it's a few days between when I do one episode and do another and I forgot so we did have an axe and we did have a wood axe they were in this cabinet over here I had stuck them in here temporarily to keep them all together until we got a better place to store them. And as it turns out, we do now. So when I was cleaning the cabinets out last night to formalize the kitchen a bit more, I found all this stuff. Not the propane torch that I was carrying, but the axe, crowbar, some hand axes, pickaxe, the wood axe. So we have the things that we need to get started with clearing the land and building. But our first step is going to be to well, first, let's feed her because obviously she's not in the greatest mood. She's getting a little upset because she hasn't eaten and uh, because she's a little bored. So let's eat this bologna sandwich. That will make her feel a little better. And then we'll eat this bagel. And yes, I'm feeding her cold, which is one of the virtues of keeping the bread in the fridge that you can just kind of grab it and go, uh, especially in the mornings when... Your character is you know, grumpy and tired wants to be fed immediately. I do give her a hot breakfast every so often. I'll, I'll make three or four omelets and then reheat them in the microwave. And sometimes I'll, she likes coffee. Coffee will help too. But coffee is also considered a food. So if you make coffee or you make tea, uh, it will fill her up. So leave some room for it. And I think the coffee also gives them either a mood boost or a caffeine boost so it's definitely not a bad thing let's get this book bag out of her hand I'm putting all these bags in one container until we can no that's not the book bag we wanted to get rid of why was she holding that she should have been wearing this one on her back all right and this one needs to be put away okay all right, so let's have a look here. Somewhere in this mess, we picked up books from the library. And of course, it's also possible that somehow either they got put away already and I'm 
forgetting where I put them. I might have put them in one of these cabinets, similar to what I did with the weapons, just to get them off the floor. Or um, they're in, I don't think I left anything in the water truck, but they could be in the water truck, I suppose. So let's see about getting some of these things put away here. And of course, as time goes on, I may actually rearrange these cabinets. That tends to happen a lot. Let's recategorize so we can get all the cooking stuff together. I tend to keep all the cooking stuff in the kitchen, food and drinks mostly in the kitchen. I tend to keep things like um, electronics and other items in, no, nope, that's not where I wanted that, the shelves in the storeroom back here. I put my extra refrigerators back here. Why is it? Because it keeps defocusing. Let's favorite that so we don't get rid of that. I like to clear these shelves out and start using them for the first aid kit. And I usually have one shelf for tools, one shelf for medications. And she's carrying something so we can actually reduce her load by one. Not much, but you know, it helps. Every little bit helps. Let's see, what have we got left? We've got uh, some electronics. Let's get this stuff back on the shelf here. I pretty much, in the beginning, will dump almost everything on the shelves back here except for food. And then as time goes on, I will begin to sort through it all. And actually, before we accidentally get rid of those let's fill some containers with water you never know when the water is going to run out and it doesn't always run out at the same time as power I've had games where uh, the water runs out day two and the power is still going or games where the power goes out day 27 or 28 and the water is still going and then I've had games where they've both gone out at the same time so what I tend to do is pick up empty containers load them up with fresh water in case I don't have the time or the level required to get the water reclamation system up early and then I don't have to worry about her dying of thirst before water reclamation is up. Uh, another thing I tend to do is I tend to keep the empty containers near the door and that way, uh, once water goes out, if I still don't have a good reclamation system running, I can grab a bunch of these containers, head out the door to a different location, and siphon water out of sinks and toilets that have not been emptied. Because after the water goes out, uh, containers will have a small amount of water remaining within them. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a minute. Let's get her through filling up all these containers real quick. And we'll just speed this up. So, all right, so now let's put this bowl of water down here so we know where it is. These cooking pots and these saucepans and this tumbler. And then what I like to do is I like to put the teacups and mugs full of water under the coffee station to make it easier for her to make coffee or tea. Or if we find cocoa, even cocoa. Alright, so if you go to any sink in the game, you'll notice if you right click it, you get these options when the sink is connected to a water source. You get the ability to wash yourself and you get the ability to drink. And right now, it's telling me that the water source is the sink, that my character's thirst is minus two out of two, so she's very lightly thirsty. It's almost not even worth getting her drink and that the water source is unlimited. Once the water goes out, that last tag becomes water some amount over some amount. So it might be 20 over 20 when the sink is full or 10 over 10 when the sink is full. I don't know what the actual amount is. This is true of every water source that is built into a facility in the game. So I will show you what I mean. If I go back here to this bathroom, there's a toilet. 
And if I right click the toilet, I also get the ability to wash and drink out of it. And this also says unlimited at this point. So what I like to do is take this bathroom out because I hate that there's no line of sight. But I will leave this sink and this toilet in here because once the water goes out, they will both have a small amount of water left in them that I can reclaim before I destroy them. And I typically will do that with locations around town as well. Um, if I have a water reclamation system up and it doesn't matter, then I will wait or then I will go ahead and I will start destroying things as soon as possible. Uh, but if I don't have water reclamation up, then I will wait to destroy most of the sinks and toilets around town until they're empty. Bathtubs as well will be full of water and they all have different amounts of water. The toilet might have 10, the sink might have 20, tub might have 30, that sort of thing. And basically it represents the amount of water left in the pipes before the water was turned off. So uh, if you're short on water, you will find bottled water around the city. You'll be able to use empty containers to reclaim water from various plumbing around the city. And you should have a good stockpile just in case you don't get your water system up. All right, so we do not seem to have the books, which I know we picked up because we stopped at the bookstore and I specifically picked up the carpentry book and what is our carpentry level okay so our carpentry is zero at this moment we do not have any VHS tapes to help us learn carpentry so it's imperative that we figure out what I did with these books and I guess we'll continue to pick up stuff on the floor because if it's mixed in here it could be you know spread out and if it's spread out, then it'll take us a while to potentially sort things. I'm going to take these metal bars and put them back here for now. We have a lot of metal, and it's very bulky. And the, the cabinets have a weight allowance of 65. So putting the things that are bulky in one of the cabinets makes good sense. I'm going to put this welder mask back here as well. And then let's get the rest of these picked up. Actually, let's put some of these tools away here. I didn't drop anything in here that doesn't belong, did I? Sometimes I'll do that. If I have a container by the door, rather than put stuff on the floor, I will drop stuff in the container and sort it out later. I typically will try to categorize stuff and sort it as I bring stuff in, especially once I have full shelving and things up, but uh, that didn't really happen today. And the other thing we need to do today is we need to go hunting for another refrigerator because we've got all that produce sitting on the shelf and that produce is going to go bad over time and we don't really want that. So we really need a backup refrigerator of some sort. Well, it looks like we have pretty much cleared up the... No, we're not going to be able to carry that. Cleared up the floor and no books. Maybe I stuck them in a different crate upstairs, so let's go check that out. Because if we didn't, when we go out to get a refrigerator, we are going to go out and we are going to try to find that Carpentry Level 1 book again that I could have sworn I picked up. But, you know, I've got a few different games going, one for tutorials, one for my own personal fun. Uh, I have uh, a multiplayer server that I've been playing with friends, which I actually haven't been spending very much time on it for the last several weeks. So I've got a lot of different versions of this game in my head, and uh, forgive me if I sometimes confuse them, but at least you guys know I'm not just playing the game to review it or to help you guys along. I'm actually playing the game because I love it, and uh, that's really what you want. There, there's no point in playing a game if you don't love it, and... Personally, I feel like a person who reviews a game they don't love, 
it's like there's no personality in their reviews. They don't have any passion for it. They don't, you know, care enough about it. And uh, there are some who might argue that, you know, my tutorials may be too organic or they're not going to be organized enough. They're a little too rambly or conversational. But I, I do them this way because I can sit down and make a list of things that I want to teach you guys. And I can sit down and I can, you know, as I'm playing a game, realize that I should teach you how to look for the radio in a short tutorial. And that's all fine. But what winds up happening over time is that I miss things that come out organically while I'm playing. And so if I play uh, as if I'm playing, if I go through the game as if I'm playing and, and I enjoy myself, that's going to convey itself to you guys as I'm doing things. You're going to realize, oh, this is the way she actually plays her own game. She's not just giving us these tips and tricks to fool us or to, you know, give us, you know, best practices, but she doesn't actually practice them herself. I don't have any idea what happened to these books. All right, so we're going to go check the cart. Um, it's also that I take joy in the game and I do videos as long as there's joy in them. And as I'm playing organically, I come across things that I do for myself that are important. Like I always equip my weapon before I step out of the house. And then I leave doors shut. They don't usually go inside, but um, I leave doors shut and I do a patrol of my perimeter. I also, you notice when I got up, I opened my curtains and I looked out around the building just to make sure that the perimeter was secure. And that also becomes moot once we get the wall up and other things going on. But at the moment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out and survey the area to make sure there are no immediate threats. we got some corpses laying around that need to be taken care of, but nothing else. Alright, so I don't know what happened to the book. I could have sworn we picked one up in this game. And I'm going to check the vehicles, and then I'm going to hop in the car, and we're going to head over to the nearest convenience store or other location that might actually have another refrigerator. And while we're out, we'll hit the bookstore again. I could have sworn I hit the bookstore, but I'm also pretty sure that I emptied this last night because I didn't want to waste more video having to sort stuff. So yeah, all right. So I put the book down somewhere or it wound up uh, being transferred into a bag or something and I'm going to have to dig through the bags under the counter. As I said, they stack. You can't tell if there's something in them. So what I'm going to do here is just head on back to the bookstore, which I know is in this area. We're moving pretty quickly in terms of getting things done, so it's possible that I never made it over here. Nope, the bookstore's open. I knew I had made it over here. So I really don't know what happened to books, but we'll figure it out later. And all we need right now is carpentry level one. So we're going to go in and we're going to grab it. And then we're going to head back through Gigamart. And we're going to pull a refrigerator from out of there so we don't lose any food. While we're here, let's grab first aid volume one. Metalworking volume one. Um, did I hit both of these shelves? Let's see here. Let's grab our volume ones if we can. I'm not worried about spear or sprinting. These are books that are added with the literacy mod. And a lot of times I find them unnecessary. I, I allow the books to populate in the game just because they, if I come up with nothing left to read, then it's potentially useful, you know. Um, oh, somebody's got a TV going somewhere. Uh, cooking volume one, which we may not need because we've been watching TV. We actually need cooking volume two. Farming volume one. Still no carpentry volume one, though. Come on, carpentry. 
I hope there wasn't only one book in here that I grabbed. Ah, there it is. Okay. Carpentry Volume 1. While we're here, let's see if there are other carpentry books. Oh, there's another shelf of magazines I missed. That happens. It's hard with these all stacked together. Carpentry Volume 3. Carpentry Volume 2 would be most helpful, but it looks like we're not going to see it. And since we have some empty shelves here, I'm going to grab one of them. This will make my life considerably easier. Oh, I need the... Um... I need the tool chest, which I hope is in here, and it is. Let's get these books moved over. should be more than enough space for us to get one or two even. Now let's take one because we still need to get a refrigerator in here. Uh, this. Oh, I carried those out. Those were supposed to go in the trash. Oh, crud. No hammer. All right, so I must have taken it out and put it on my belt and it didn't wind up back in the car toolbox. Where is the car toolbox? Did she just drop it? Oh, I think she put it back here. How did I manage that? Yep. See, this is the kind of thing that sometimes happens. You have to be really careful about what you're focused on. I thought I was putting it in her backpack and it went into the shelves instead. All right, so unfortunately, without a hammer, we are not gonna be able to get these shelves and we are also not gonna be able to get one of the refrigerators. So the solution to this small problem, so we don't have to go all the way back, is to back up, hopefully without hitting anything, and not like a drunkard, until we get to the hardware store, and then find a hammer. We need to come here and clean this out at some point anyways. Uh, we'll take a ball peen hammer just in case, but I don't think that's really what we want. If we can find a standard hammer, there we go. That's even better. All right. Did I grab it or did I walk away? I think that's also my problem. Sometimes because I'm trying to move quickly, I move before I'm finished transferring something. So, all right. Now... Let's see if we can solve this problem very quickly. And actually, right next to where we just were at the hardware store is also a grocery store, which I think we cleaned out most of the produce or the baked goods in there, but it doesn't hurt us to look in there, and it's possible we can just get a refrigerator there and then head back now. Let's get that highlighting correctly. Picking up things can be a little touchy. If you're aimed at the wrong thing, you'll start picking up the floor or other things around you. You want to make sure in the pop-up window you see the name of the item you want. And if you don't see the name of the item you want, see in this case I do not, keep moving your little highlighter around. I don't know what else to call it. A little selection tool around until you're on it. And because she has a zero carpentry, we're probably just going to destroy this one, too. She's got a 75% chance to break, but everything she destroys gives her a little carpentry experience. So I don't want to destroy any more of those. We're going to let that go, and we're going to turn around and head back to the convenience store with the food and get our refrigerator. It's already 9.30. I don't want to waste too much of the day. 
it looks like we did not get all of the produce out of here. Oh, no, we did. And we have some good refrigerators in here. I really like these. And the reason I like these is because although they come in segments, this three segment refrigerator has 65 slots in every segment. So you wind up with the maximum number of slots per fridge and three fridges all in one wall, which is highly convenient. And you used to be able to pick them up, but they've changed them. Sometimes even when you have electrical, you can't pick them up, and I don't know why. They used to be able to break apart really easily. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, let's see if we can take this one, this industrial fridge. The normal fridges only have 52. It's not as good as the other fridges, but oh, it looks like there's some produce in that container. We'll come back and grab that. Let's get this refrigerator in before she takes some damage for carrying it. Alright, and we're not going to get another fridge in, so I'm not going to pick up another one. Well, I could probably pick another one up and put it in the seat. And it would certainly save us a trip later, wouldn't it? So, let's go here. Let's loot all this water, which won't hurt us, because if the water goes out, we'll have more water bottles. And now it's saying that it's too heavy for inventory because we're carrying too much stuff. So the water bottles weighed us down. Let's go here and get the rest of whatever's in here. And then we'll drop this book bag or school bag, whatever you want to call it, in the back of the car. We really need to get some better carrying equipment because this is just oh, darn it all and be careful of doing that I do that a lot too I'm not focused on the back of the car I'm focused on the ground I drop stuff on the ground and then I lose it so which is why I've made such a habit of looking at the ground because I often leave things behind whether on purpose or not and then I forget what I've left so let's grab this refrigerator and we're gonna get out of here and then we'll go back to the safe house and I will install these fridges and then we'll sit her down and we'll read and I think we'll end the episode with her reading and begin tomorrow's episode with, we're not going to stop and kill that zombie, we're carrying a refrigerator. We'll end, uh, we'll start tomorrow's episode with her having read the book and being able to break down all of the tables and chairs in the tower. Now, as you noticed, I was able to break down, although accidentally, the bookshelves in the bookstore. And that's because at any given time you can disassemble anything and you will get experience for doing it. But the reason we need the book is because the book gives us a bonus. So we actually make the most out of our effort, I guess is the best way of putting it. Um, you know, when you break something down, it's going to give you a small amount of experience. But when you read a skill book, the skill book either gives you a recipe or it gives you a modifier to the speed with which you gain experience. And that speed modifier is invaluable because um, leveling up can seem interminable. And a lot of us don't really like the grind. And given that, it makes a lot of sense... To adjust that some people really like to grind things and some people don't I'm I would prefer not to have to grind things if at all possible okay let's empty this car out just so I can be sure that we've done it grab her book bag which she needs and we also need all these books and things that we picked up now everything is empty I don't believe we put anything in the seat and 
I'm just gonna dump this stuff out and get her reading and we will end this episode here there's always a fair amount of cleanup and I have some mixed feelings about whether or not to include the cleanup in these videos I think it's useful because you can see how to organize things and that may help some of you but then again it can be a little bit slow so uh, please feel free in the comments to let me know what you like about my videos and what you don't like about my videos so that I can hopefully make them more fun or interesting and thanks for your patience while I'm getting my feet under me with these sorts of things. I really enjoy doing it, so it's something that I intend to continue doing, but there's always room for improvement, no matter how good someone is at something, and there's always also going to be varying opinions on what you like and what you don't like, uh, what other people like and what they don't like, and I want to be able to adjust and do videos that people enjoy while at the same time being true to myself and enjoying the videos that I make. Okay. We are now ready to have a seat and we are going to sit and read this book. And I'm going to stop the audio here and speed up the video and feel free to skip over it or not. And I will catch you in the next episode. Take care.